Hello friends, welcome to my channel Civil Structures. Today I am going to explain you about ductile detailing of structures, some specification for the ductile detailing and ductile designing for the columns. So let's first understand what is ductility. Ductility is the ability of material to undergo start deformation without damage. And when we want to talk in terms of structural ductility, structural components or the entire structure undergo large inelastic deformation without significant loss of strength or the stiffness. Okay, uh, where your deformation of structure element can be measured in terms of deflection, rotation or the curvature. We know that we use different types of material in construction. They are concrete, masonry and steel. When we talk about concrete and masonry, both are very good in taking compression, but they are weak in compression. And that's why we have to reinforce steel bars to make it strong. Therefore, concrete is provided with steel reinforcement become ductile okay now you can see this graph this graph shows the stress strain graph okay where your stress is increased okay when you give force stress is increased to a material okay up to certain limit so it is the elastic limit up to where your material or the construction material which can take load and it can get back to its own property that is your elastic limit and when it goes beyond this elastic limit that is something in elastic range of that particular material so we require such kind of material which does not break within its elastic limits and that's why the definition include the inelastic deformation you can see here your structural component undergoes large inelastic deformation without significant loss now let's understand the ductile detailing exam with one example of chain you can see this drawing let me take a chain with a weak link at a middle and the strong links are at the outer portion and which are in connection with the middle links so when we apply load this chain so the middle link will be failed first similarly if we construct a chain with a ductile link middle and now when we apply load to the chain chain will not easily break it will extend up to its ductility limit okay so as per so as per these example we have to construct our building with strong column weak beam concept and when earthquake occurs column will not fail first so the building will not collapse easily the another parameter to improve ductility in the structural element is the confinement of concrete how to achieve this we have to provide closely spaced reinforcement or hoops or the spiral reinforcement we all are aware with indian standard design codes is 456 2000 it is design code for the rc c and 
IS-800 for the steel design and IS-875-1987 they are for the load on the structure but these design codes cannot make structure ductile the special design provision is essential to obtain ductile structures for that Indian standards introduce IS code IS 13920-1993 and they are meant for specially ductile detailing of reinforcement structure subjected to seismic forces. It is a code of practice. Now there are some um, basic provisions uh, given in IS 13920 where we use or when we use this IS 13920 for designing of the structures. Okay, so let's understand this special conditions. The first condition is the structures lies in a seismic zone four and five so when you design your structure and your structure is lies in seismic zone four and five you have to use 13920 and make your structure ductile okay the second one is even your structure is in seismic zone three but it has importance factor more than one third one is when you are designing industrial structure which lies in zone 3 okay and the last one is the structure more than 5 stories and it is located in a seismic zone 3 so when we design such kind of buildings we have to follow ductile rules We all are aware with Indian standard design codes IS456-2000 it is design code for the RCC and IS800 for the steel design and IS875-1987 they are for the load on the structure but these design codes cannot make structure ductile the special design provision is essential to obtain ductile structures for that Indian standards introduce IS code IS 13920-1993 and they are meant for specially ductile detailing of reinforcement structure subjected to seismic forces it is a code of practice now there are some um, basic provisions uh, given in IS 13920 where we use or when we use this IS-13920 for designing of the structures okay so let's understand this special conditions 
The first condition is the structures lies in a seismic zone 4 and 5. So when you design your structure and your structure is lies in seismic zone 4 and 5, you have to use 13920 and make your structure ductile. Okay, the second one is even your structure is in seismic zone 3 but it has importance factor more than 1. Third one is when you are designing industrial structure which lies in zone 3. Okay, and the last one is the structure more than 5 stories and it is located in a seismic zone 3. So when we design such kind of buildings, we have to follow ductile rules. Also in 13920, there are basic material criteria we used for the ductile detailing. There are for all buildings which are more than 3 stories in height, the minimum grade of concrete shall be M20 where your FCK should be 20 megapascal. The reason is that below M20 may not have required strength in bond or shear. The second criteria is for the steel reinforcement of grade FE415 or less shall be used. The reason is the strong steel is preferred since low strength steel has long yield plate greater breaking strain less than strength gain after the yield so these are basic criteria for the material we are going to use during construction